Hi, and welcome to a quick level to leveling tutorial for experience gain in Assassin's Creed Odyssey at low levels. Uh, I'm here on a level 13 character, and I need 22,000 experience to gain the next level. I'm going to show you a quick technique that works at low levels for gaining experience if you can get it going. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do uh, is you're going to want to gather the sync points for every area that is close to your level. So in that case, for me at 13, I want to grab uh, Megaris, I want to grab Fokis, Locris, and Yuboya. Don't actually know how to say that. Um, probably saying it wrong. Uh, but those are the regions I want to look at because they're at my level, and I want to get a sync point that's relatively close to a message board so that I can travel to the message boards whenever I want and check for quests that look like these. Uh, they will say contract, they will not have a timer, and they will say leader of some region at the bottom. And the reason we want to grab those is because those will be completable in the region we're in and once we complete them a new one should show up as long as the nation power of the nation we're in hasn't dropped down to vulnerable and triggered a conquest battle. Once you dro drop the nation power down to that level, um, you'll stop getting quests like that until after the conquest battle has com been completed. Uh, which is not really a huge deal because we kind of want to do the conquest battles too because that's a good way to get experience and items. I'm dealing a lot of damage here in melee, and I one-shot that guy with an assassination uh, because I have the Blade of Yumminess equipped, which is really boosting my damage a lot. Uh, I would recommend farming the money and materials in order to get that sword and keep it at your level. Um, using my other tutorial on how to farm money and materials at low levels. So we're just going to come over to this leader house and just pick off whatever guards we can easily get to safely. Now this guy here is a captain level strategoi, so he has really high health, so I think even with the Blade of Yumminess, he's going to be just a little bit out of guaranteed one-shot range. So yeah, he's just got a little sliver of health there. Now I could take a risk and try and go for a crit, but I don't want to trigger a f knockdown dragout fight with everybody in this region, because I'm in a hurry. And I don't want things to get messy. So this guy's an easy one-shot. So we'll just clear out some potential supporting actors. And go ahead and loot chests. One thing you want to avoid while you're running through these areas, finishing off whatever objectives come from the quests that you were given, is unnecessarily killing enemies, uh, unnecessarily burning supplies. Uh, you don't want to waste those supplies and enemies because when you get the next quest, it might be to uh, kill more enemies or destroy those very same supplies. So we definitely don't want what? All right. So I'm just gonna. That guy out. Let's switch to our Ezio sword so we can use Hero Strike. Parry, okay, get the Hero Strike back. So I just knocked out the Call of Death, and I got 7,400 experience. Now I actually made a mistake there, uh, because we got spotted, things were getting a little bit hectic, I forgot um, to turn on my temporary experience booster. Um, the temporary ones actually work really well, better than you'd think, um, because you can turn them off and on. So if I had toggled this on right before I, turn, I got that last kill, um, instead of getting 7,400-ish, I would have gotten 9,000-something. 
um, which would have been really nice. And then I could just turn it off again. Um, now I've used this to level up to 13, um, and I've only used up uh, a little more than eight minutes, eight and a half minutes of it. Um, so that's a really great technique for those temporary experience boosters that you can get for free at no cost. Um, those are something that you can unlock with your Ubisoft Club. It's an Ubisoft Club reward. Just takes a couple of Ubisoft coins. Um, how many more times I'm going to have to say Ubisoft? And you can easily get those coins by just completing a couple of challenges, um, which are usually things you were going to do in the game anyway. In fact, I would imagine if you've been playing this game for more than an hour, you've probably already unlocked enough coins to get at least one temporary booster. Alright, so we're going to check the message board again because we just finished a quest for this region and here we go a replacement quest for this region uh, this one is also the call of death which I think is still kill 10 soldiers so usually it won't be the exact same objective uh, it'll very often be a totally different objective but even if it's the exact same objective um, it should be easy enough to just find Um, the soldiers or the resource crates or the whatever in the area that you will need in order to complete that objective. Um, I switch back to the Blade of Yumminess because I'm going to go complete this objective in this fort. Uh, but before I do that, let me just go ahead and finish up this tutorial. Uh, so that's basically it. Um, for the low levels, if you want to do uh, the, that minimum loop, you just gather the message boards and sync points for the regions that you can safely fight in and you look for those quests that say in an area that are from a leader of a nearby area and you just do them and come back to the board and get a new one each time. Now if you want to do a little bit more um, background work to try and speed things up, um, it's going to have some time cost up front but it's going to pay off later. What you can do is you can do the message board and sync point gathering in every region. And the reason you want to do that is because um, you might have noticed that on that message board where I visited in, in Locris, there were two quests that said all over Greece and two quests that said in Locris. Um, those quests that say all over Greece, you can get anywhere from zero to four, maybe even five or six um, of those at every um, in every region. And if you visit every region, uh, you'll end up with a stack of those quests that are quite long. Um, like I have two or three dozen here. Um, quite a few. And a lot of those quests will overlap with one another, and they will overlap with these um, these mini versions that, ha that are specific to the region that you're in. And that'll help you by giving you e just extra contract completions for doing the exact same activities. And all you need to do first is gather sync points, that are close to message boards. You don't need every sync point in a region. You just need one per region that's close to a message board so that you can quickly grab those contracts. Uh, this will also pay off later. As you level up and you unlock more areas, um, it becomes easier and easier to farm whatever objectives you have two or three uh, global quests for. Uh, so let's just take a quick look. This is Athenian resource crates, Athenian nation chests, Athenian resource crates, um, Spartan resource crates, Athenian resource crates. So yeah, there you go. I have three destroy Athenian resource crates all over Greece quests. I can just go wherever it is best to farm uh, the destruction of Athenian resource crates, and I can complete all of those at the same time. Um, now, I'm at a relatively low level, so I can't go wherever I want. Um, so let's say I was in a situation where... Um, this region and this region and this region and this region were all Sparta where I wouldn't really have a good place to go to farm that while I was doing other activities. Um, so that's why we want to use that loop at lower levels because it works more efficiently by keeping us in the regions where uh, we are um, where we're, where our level is high enough not to slow us down. Um, and then we can just keep looping back and getting more uh, experience. Now if you don't want to do uh, just focusing on these war contracts, um, something you could also do is to do that first step of gathering the war contracts for at least the regions where you are a high enough level, if not all of the regions. And then once you have that stack, just completely ignore them, 
while you finish the main quest. Um, my next main quest step is A Journey to War. Um, it's one of the first quests you get on the way out of Kefalonia, and it's going to involve killing some ships in order to um, land in Megaris for the first time. And now killing those ships, that's going to count for those quests um, that are destroy Athenian ships, destroy Athenian pentacounters. If there's any pentacounters in this blockade, that'll count for those quests. And as you complete the main quest, you'll slowly um, complete objectives from groups of these um, contracts and get extra experience for it. So uh, if you've played this before, you know that in Megaris, one of the main activities that you'll be doing is killing Spartan soldiers, uh, raiding their forts, destroying their resource crates. Those are all things that showed up in this list um, of contracts that I picked up. So in addition to getting the experience bonus from doing those for the main quests, I get to triple, double, quadruple, um, quintuple dip on however many of those quests I can also complete um, from this war contract list. That trio of destroy Athenian resource crates. Um, there's at least five Athenian resource crates in this area, and I know some of the objectives in this area for the main quest are also going to involve destroying those resource crates. So it's a really good way, um, even if you just want to do the main quest, to make the main quest give you enough experience to keep you leveled up as you're going along. Um, so that's pretty much the whole technique. Um, I guess just quick recap, uh, grab sync points in the regions where you are a high enough level that are close to message boards, uh, look for quests that you can that have that are from nearby leaders that say complete in that area. Complete them in that area, and then new ones should appear until a conquest battle is trigger, triggered. Triggered uh, for a slightly more advanced technique, gather sync points that are near message boards in every area. Gather all the war contracts from every region, uh, and then just do that exact same loop of staying in the area you're in and completing them and getting that double, triple, quadruple dip experience. Um, or just continue with the main quest with those contracts active and have them slowly complete as you go along. Uh, and that one extra bonus thing that you can do is if you keep track of your objectives, you can toggle on a temporary experience booster uh, that you should be able to get for free uh, from the club rewards by just grabbing this temporary experience boost which will show up right here and turning it on when you're about to finish a quest and then turning it off when the quest is finished to get a little bit of extra experience for each quest that you do and that should get you leveled up pretty fast uh, thanks and that's all I have good luck leveling